Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and we're going to take a look at a new but old familiar uh, kind of launcher. This is SPB Shell 3D. Those of you who came over from Windows Mobile might remember SPB Mobile Shell. This is from the same guys and I'm actually pretty impressed with it. been using it for a few days now. So let's uh, just take a quick walk through it. You have home screens just like normal. I actually have uh, an even number of home screens on here right now. It's kind of uh, normally you'd have like five or seven or an odd number. I have eight on here right now. Let's walk through them. Uh, on the far left, we have a clock and then you have uh, lunar information. If you tap the clock, it takes you to the uh, usual clock app. And we've got your little uh, settings button up there. There are no like real settings for the launcher as a whole. Instead, you can uh, kind of do settings on the individual widgets. So you can change the skin on the clock and they are downloading right now. You got a whole bunch to choose from. We'll just pick that one right there. And it loads up, and there you go. You have a new clock. Pretty cool. I like that. Uh, let's see. Flickr, you have a very nice uh, little Flickr gallery. This pulls in the top Flickr photos and shows them to you on your phone. There we go. And you see you can flip back and forth between them all. You also have settings here. You can tell it how frequently to update, whether to use your uh, cell connection, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Very nice. Here is the weather uh, home screen and nice little animation in there. I like that a lot. You got temperature, you have uh, your forecast for the next four days. Then you also have uh, wind information and a barometer and humidity. And you can actually change the settings. They come over in metric, but of course here in the States, we don't do anything in metric and I was very confused. So I changed it to Fahrenheit and miles per hour and inches for, uh, for the pressure. So there's that. And we are now on the uh, main home screen and you get a little counter widget, that's nice. And you get a bunch of icons, cool. Nothing uh, too spectacular there. Here are images from my camera gallery on the phone itself. Nice little widget. Now this is really cool. You have a, uh, a world clock here and you can set the cities to whatever you want. So you tap one, put in whatever city you want, and that's that. But here's where it gets really cool. How nice is that? A spinning 3D globe that also shows you whether it's day or night, you know, in wherever part of the world you're looking. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. You can spin it, play with it. Very, very nice. I'd like to be able to have more than uh, three cities on there, though, but I could see how that could get a little, uh, a little busy. But, you know, four or five would be nice. Uh, up here, we have text messaging widget. We have favorite contacts. And it looks like you only have three, but you actually have more than that. You tap that button there, and it opens up, and you can have ten. Very, very nice. That's how we do it again. Ten. Uh, we got a little birthday widget. A couple more icons on there by default. Here is calendar uh, page. Nice. You only get a... Uh, kind of three upcoming uh, appointments, but that's not too horrible. And you can add directly from there. You can change the months. Very, very nicely done. I like that a lot. Really smooth. And you see us flipping back and forth between all these. Uh, here's another way to do it. So down here on the bottom, you have kind of a launcher dock with the usual icons to launch programs. And you can flip through the uh, various home screens this way. Nice three-dimensional graphics. Really smooth here on the Nexus S. And that's that. Now here's another way you can do it. If you tap it, it'll open them up as well, right? And then you can spin your way through them. Ooh, and we actually saw this demoed way back in Mobile World Congress more than a year ago. Uh, one other way you can do it is you can bring up cards. And this actually lets you rearrange uh, the orders of the home screens. Uh, you can add, remove them. So this tools one, which is the extra one I added on at the end, we can take it out. Uh, you can put in a blank home screen if you want. They call them miscellaneous down there, and you can add extra miscellaneous ones as well. And that's that. So now we're back at the, uh, the calendar home screen. Take a look at the app drawer. Pretty standard, again, very fast. And it shows you which apps are actually on the home screen. It gives it a little home icon there within the app drawer itself. Very, very nicely done. So here's my only uh, real ding against SPB Shell 3D is the price. It's $14.95 in the... Uh, Android market, which is just way too much for a launcher, but otherwise it's a very, very nicely done app. See ya.